West 46th was always a street of our hemisphere, which amused Isidore. The Brazilian places boiling their feijoda, the moccasin company across the street boiling the feet of Yaleys. The tobacconists had been the first intrusion of anything stylish, so far as anything in 1970 can be said to have been stylish. But he was a brave, arty guy, said Isidore. He had long hair and a sweater, painted the whole place black, displayed the tobacco in white Japanese bowls in the window, as if you could pour milk on it and eat it with a spoon. And he'd had some heady blends. Owl is his favorite. So stuffed with Lachakia and Yanije, it was like imbibing all the bonfires of youth, reliving every piquant dish or afternoon forest. Max Bland, a strange quality of the past, of corks of wood, light on leaves, veins of the natural world with a little salt of, a, of adventure of uh, Stevenson. And then there'd been a problem about it ten years ago. Suddenly stopped making it. Mac reported to Iz one Saturday. Izzy flew into a rage and took a cab there and demanded to know why his friend's favorite tobacco should have been withdrawn. Of course he should have been smoking owl anyway. But yelling with screaming at the poor guy who still saw himself as doing a service to all mankind, Izzy had him backed into a corner behind his antique cash register, the <laughs> chess set, when the little guy let out with the incongruity. Most of the people who smoke forest are no longer with us.